Our final award this evening is very special, not only because it's an Oscar statuette, but because it represents a career of achievement in motion, motion picture science and technology. In a few moments, it will be my pleasure to present this year's Gordon E. Sawyer Award to Erwin W. Young. Duart, one of the nation's oldest film laboratories, was founded in 1922 by Erwin Young's father, Al, along with several partners. Upon graduating from Lehigh University in 1950, Erwin Young joined his father there as they prepared to process the upcoming new Eastman color negative and positive films, 5247 and 5381 respectively. With the cooperation of Kodak in 1951, they processed the very first feature using this color film titled Royal Journey, which was produced by the National Film Board of Canada. Within a few years, the Youngs were also responsible for equipping Duart with a complete continuous seven-day-a-week news film processing operation for CBS TV News. And by the late 1960s, observing the advance of electronic imaging technology and anticipating the eventual marriage of videotape and film, Erwin Young installed a video department at Duart that included one of the first-rank NTSC telecines in North America. In 1979, Erwin Young and the Duart engineers were selected by the Academy for a Technical Achievement Award for their development of a computer-controlled paper tape programming system. This system, which measured film frame by frame and stored the processing information on a paper tape, was a step forward that made negative cueing, color analyzing, printing, and print correction much easier. In the early 80s, Mr. Young used this frame, Q system, to actually perform editing in an optical printer. In addition, he designed a system of synchronizing the film telecine with the videotape recorder so a scene could be accurately inserted on any given field. Films run on a telecine could then be formatted or have scene-to-scene -scene corrections made without the need to go back to physical or electronic editing. For both his outstanding technical contributions and also in recognition of his devoted energies and commitments to young filmmakers, the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers presented him with their SEMTI Progress Medal in 1987. Mr. Young currently serves as chairman of the board of Duart Laboratories, as well as president of the Western Broadcasting Corporation of Puerto Rico. Just a few of his past positions have included service as president of New York's Film Society of Lincoln Center, board member of the Independent Feature Project in New York, president of SEMTI, and as both a, a board member and chairman of the Moving Image Incorporated. Over the years, he has also received both the annual Gotham Lifetime Achievement Award for the Independent Features Project and the New York State Governor's Arts Award. This Renaissance man is also an award-winning film producer whose films have been honored at the Venice Film Festival, the Cannes Film Festival, and the American Film Festival. Innovative engineer, passionate film producer, and a continuous encourager of independent filmmaking, Mr. Young is most certainly an individual whose technological contributions have brought credit to the motion picture industry. And at this time, it is an honor for me to introduce this year's recipient of the Gordon E. Sawyer Award, Erwin W. Young. Thank you.